Hey everyone, welcome to another episode of Everything OneNote. Today I'm going to show you one of my favorite ways to structure the teacher only section in your class notebook. All right, so let's have a look at this idea of setting up the teacher only section. And I'm gonna show you a structure that I like to do. And there are obviously lots of different ways of doing this. So we're gonna click down on teacher only and by default, that little you know section is gonna be there. But what I do is come down here, right click and click on new section group for me. And there it's going to appear for us. From here, we're gonna right click again. I'm gonna click rename this section and I'm gonna call it maths. And then I'm going to click straight again down the bottom and click to just add a section this time. I'm gonna put term one in. Let's put term two in as well. Term three and term four. All right, perfect, there they are. If I click down on that section group, you'll see that it collapses nice and neatly. I can click on teacher only, it does the same. We get the general idea. If you've made any mistakes here, you can always delete it or rename it. Okay, so don't be too stressed out if you get it wrong the first time. So over on my right is where I have my pages and I also like to have a certain structure here as well. So to do that structure, what I'm gonna do is spell topic right, and there we go. I'm gonna put topic one. And then what I'm gonna do is just add a page straight underneath it. And I'm just gonna put page one. So this is where I might build an activity. If I right click on page one and I make it a sub page, it will fall underneath that topic. I can keep doing that. Let's put in page two. We're gonna put in page three as well. And just like our section groups here, if I click that, it's gonna collapse. So it kind of keeps things nice and tidy and organized because I like to keep my teacher only section nice and clean and tidy. So if I wanna repeat that and do the same process, I'm gonna click here on this little tab. I'm gonna do the same thing, new section group. You know, let's do English and then doing this four times. So tapping once, add section, turn one. Let's do turn two, turn three, and turn four. So get the general idea. And you don't have to follow this exact structure, of course, but see how nice and tidy that goes? And so I can open them up and close them accordingly. Now, this guy here, he's obviously there from the very beginning. You can delete him, so if he's gone, because you might not use it, and you might have read the instructions, just make sure you've got that teacher only section highlighted. You know, right click, there we go, add in a new section, it will work again. So I'm gonna click. One last time, let's maybe put science in, add a section, I'm gonna call them term one. Maybe, you know, you might be, you know, a semester one and a semester two type person. Um, but for me, I always like to do it in terms, typical high school type of setup. There we go. And you kind of see how nicely that all falls down and looks and I can work through each one of my term sections and then start building my pages. Guys, I hope you enjoyed that, and we will see you again soon. Don't forget to follow us, give us a thumbs up if you like what we're doing, and make sure that you write any comments in the comment section in regards to questions you might have, or if you have any ideas that you want us to present on. Thanks guys.